Question 4. Isn't Islam just another faith based on legends? On the contrary, Islam is the only religion whose sources are authentically preserved, historically recognized, and have remained entirely free of human alteration and interference over the centuries. Its divine scripture, the Qur'an, contains no myths or fables and is in accord with established facts of science. It provides an acceptable explanation of the origin, development, and purpose of the universe and for occurrences within it. The message of Islam is not new. What is new is the form of the message, its dimensions and scale. This final revelation has been preserved in its original state, as promised by God when He revealed, <laughs> Indeed, it is we who sent down the message, and indeed, we will be its guardian. Chapter 15, verse 9 It has miraculously remained immune to the ravages of time and the interference of man and is still accessible in its original language to all who seek guidance. Distinct from the teachings of many religions which assume the incompatibility of faith and reason, Islam upholds the role of the mind and regards those who fail to use reason as intellectually deficient. Because the mind tends to seek out interrelationship wherever there is variety and multiplicity, it is satisfied by the Qur'an's clear and unambiguous statement that everything is traceable to a single source, backed with sound arguments and evidence. An important feature of Islam is that while it is based exclusively upon revelation from God, never exceeding the bounds of the divinely revealed texts, it does not fail to provide logical proofs for its tenets. Islam teaches that one should expect a natural cause for everything that occurs in creation. It promotes the research, study, thought, and contemplation that lead one to faith by conviction rather than blind acceptance. The Qur'an urges man to observe and consider the signs of God within creation and provides guidelines for the sound thinking that leads to appropriate conclusions.